Hi guys, Gaming and Football A47 here, and I'm giving my feedback on the PlayStation 5 reveal event which happened last night. I thought it was an exceptionally well done event, showcasing lots of great gameplay, exciting trailers, and just news about the PlayStation 5 in general. Now, the first big announcement that they made was that GTA 5 was going to be remastered again, or enhanced as they put it, on PlayStation 5. So that will be free for anyone with PlayStation Plus. Um, so basically a lot of us have PlayStation Plus. Um, so great, we get to play that and see what it's like. It'll probably be like playing on a, on a pretty high-end PC maybe, I don't know. That's just hoping, but yeah, it's exciting. Anyway, um, the game which excited me the most that we saw a lot of gameplay for was the uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Sorry, I was just checking to make sure I got the name right. Um, yeah, it was stunning visuals, um, really enticing gameplay and just plenty of action, uh, more than just what you'd expect from Ratchet and Clank, but really well done. It just looked like an improvement, to be honest. And as long as it was just going to be on par, it would have been just exciting and great. But to really improve on it just excites me a lot because I'm a big fan of the series. So that was the first big thing that that got me excited. Um, then might as well move on to a game by the same developer, Insomniac Games. They release their or their upcoming game is Spider Man Miles Morales. Now I played the last Spider Man, which is called Marvel's Spider Man, and it was good. Um, and I would say just good, to be honest. Lots of people absolutely love it, but I, I think the story was very good. Very sorry, I could stop using the word good. The story was exciting, and the pacing was great. Different word. Um, but the gameplay mm, gameplay was mostly impressive, although it was a bit repetitive at times, and the side missions uh, side missions weren't great in my opinion. Um, yeah, and also the, a lack of a challenge mode also was disappointing. But overall, a solid 7.5, maybe bordering to 8 out of 10 in my books. But this one hopefully will improve on that, so exciting. Um, now again, but I'm massively looking forward to, I'm a big fan of the franchise, is Hitman 3, uh, the eight, actually the eighth um, entry in the series, but it's Hitman 3 because they rebranded it, it's the last in this trilogy, and the trailer looked awesome, um, the actual gameplay unfortunately didn't look as great as, as I expected, but it does look fun, and that's the main thing, graphically, I think, mm, I was expecting a bit more, but... I'm looking forward to it, and uh, Dubai seems like a very good idea for a location. I could think of so many ways you could traverse the location. Um, might be a hotel, it might be oh, the amount of ways you could experiment and take out your targets. It just, yeah, it's exciting, it really is. Um, so that covers those. Um, another massive release was Horizon Forbidden West, the sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn. I mean, obviously it's not out yet, but upcoming. Graphically, the most impressive thing that they revealed in terms of gameplay. Um, just more of the same, but in different areas and hopefully improved gameplay as well. But yeah, exciting. Um, probably one of the most impressive releases, although it doesn't interest me so much, was Resident Evil 8. can't remember the name for it, but it's the eighth one. Um, graphically, again, excellent. But... Uh, and it looked entertaining, you know, it looked like a solid story from what they were showing. Lots of things going on, mystery sort of thing you'd expect from a horror. But yeah, I'm not massively into horrors, although it did look very, very good. So maybe I'll check it out. I don't know. We'll see. I've not played many horror games and it doesn't appeal to me that much. But we'll see. Um, other games which were impressive, just look at my list briefly. Godfall, which looked pretty good. I mean, gameplay-wise, it looked fun. That's the main thing, graphically. A bit underwhelming, I think, but still. Deathloop, a first-person shooter, which has an interesting concept of you just continuously going about your mission until you kill a certain person. Even if you die, you keep going back to the mission. Sounds all right. It's the only way of putting it, really. We didn't see masses of it. It just looked like a decent FPS. Um, sort of following under the concept of uh, Dishonored a little bit. 
which is a pretty good uh, series. Um, Returnal was one which I thought looked really impressive, an adventure game. Uh, innovative, it looks. Uh, graphically, one of the best, one of the top three that they showed. So that's another one I thought I'd mention. And the last one I think worth mentioning is Gran Turismo 7, a massive racing franchise uh, or game series. But um, yeah, I'm not so keen on racing simulators, so that's about enough, really. Uh, the PlayStation, they actually showed the PlayStation 5, what it looks like, which was cool. Um, it looks nice, <laughs> basically. I mean, I don't really care so much what it looks like. It's what it does. There's a disc version, uh, just, you know, standard where you can put discs in. And then there's one which is you can only play games digitally. I might get that, actually, because I really, don't really care that much about discs. But we'll see. If it's cheaper to get digital only, I'll get digital only. So it is. But then if friends come around, they want to play discs. Yeah, I might get discs, actually. I'll think about that in my head myself anyway um the controller looks futuristic and flashy and quite you know just just good um similar layout to the playstation 4 controller but uh the haptic feedback triggers which basically will <laughs> try and make you feel more immersed in the game and uh, I think there'll be more tension when you're trying to fire the trigger sometimes like if you've got a bow and arrow for example and you've you know, when it, there's tension when you're actually doing a real life one, it'll be more tension in the controller. Things like that, I think, will be exciting. A bit more vibration at the correct times and stuff like that to feel the tension of the situation. But yeah, that's my feedback. I was really impressed. It showed lots of gameplay, showed the developers talking positively about it, and it just was a great event. So I'd recommend watching it. And if you don't watch the whole thing, feel free to watch specific games that I've mentioned that you're interested in. Anyway, thanks guys for watching and I'll be back with more videos. Bye.